When I was coming here, I woke up very early. Then my mom brought me to the station and left. So I was in the bus saloon. I was sleeping a lot in the bus. Like I'll sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. 16 year old Yehuza Ibtisam Mpahia recounting the 382 mile journey from the heart of northern Ghana in Tamale all the way to the national capital Accra. Gaining admission into Accra Girls High School is a dream come true for her. She really cannot hide her excitement. I searched for the school on the net. So I saw pictures of the school and history about the school. So I also decided to come to the school and pursue my studies. Ibtisam is one of the over 500 girls who are on campus for the very first time. As freshers, their pink checkered uniforms set them apart from their seniors, or rather, their sisters. When you see any form of sister, can you understand this? You need to come down for her to climb before you continue. And you can't call them by their names, or just ask sister to it. For example, you can't come by Stolen, and let ask sister Stolen to it. And when you are fetching water, you see any form of sister with a bucket, you need to uh, take off the bucket for her to climb before you finish. These are just a few of the rules here which must be obeyed by all. Calling their sister is not new to me, but fetching water and their sister will come and you now have to take off your bucket and she fed before you. That's what is new to me. I'll cry later. <laughs> As Ibtisam thinks about all the learning and relearning awaiting her, the loud siren goes off. And like Agi Shakor, the unmistakable statue of a student with her face buried in her book, the Tamale girl is immediately reminded of the real reason she's in Accra in the first place. <laughs> to begin her journey of becoming a world-class journalist. I want to be a journalist or a news presenter. I just have passion for it. I'll do all the exercises given by the teachers and I'll try my best to participate in the lessons going on. Like if a teacher asks a question and I know, I'll raise up my hand and answer the question. Okay, I'm not intimidated by the students here or because they are from here. So no, I'm not.